The Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayomi, has confirmed four new cases of the COVID-19 pandemic in Lagos. This brings the total number of cases confirmed in the country to 12. The Health Commissioner confirmed the new cases at a news briefing on Thursday. Joining us is the Director, La Poche School, Ronke Poche Ademiyi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me again. A pleasure. On Thursday, the NCDC confirmed four new cases of the coronavirus. As at the time, Nigerians thought it's almost over. What do you think went wrong? Well, even I thought it was almost over. Um, so I actually believe that um, we must have missed one or two um, steps, um, particularly at the borders, at the airports. I think it's still a bit more porous at the moment. So that is clearly where... Um, things went wrong. We need more um, flight restrictions, which are now in place, we know that. But I think we need more than the 13 um, countries that um, have been put down at the moment. All right, the World Health Organization says Africa should prepare for the worst. Do we have cause to worry, really? You know, we are a praying country. God forbid, God forbid. <laughs> yes, the worst, I mean, it can get worse, but if we continue at the rate at which we are um, continuing, it will not get worse. Um, the same way that we're able to manage Ebola, I think we, the, the awareness we have now is a lot stronger than what we had with Ebola and we kicked it out. So we have to just continue to ensure that we continue washing these hands, we continue sensitizing people and children and the social um, isolation that we have at the moment. We should just continue, social conditioning, we should just continue doing all those things and we'll get through it. We are fighters in Nigeria, so we'll do it again. Let's look at the issue of self-isolation. How sure are we uh, that the people being advised to self-isolate can handle the situation or know what to do, really? People will stay at home. They'll have a cough. I mean, I've had a cough through the, um, even before the uh, cases came to Nigeria. So how do I know that I have coronavirus? I don't have coronavirus. What are the test centers like? Um, we've been told we have five in the country. So uh, it's, a bit tri it's a tricky one. So you can stay at home and assume that you have just a flu and it might be coronavirus. And you might have coronavirus and assume it's a flu. It's a very tricky one. There's no clear cut answer with that one. But seek medical help. Can, can you give us tips on what to do during self isolation? Self isolation? Um, I would still say ensure that there's a hospital, a doctor, not a quack, a hospital that knows that you just come from um, one of these high risk countries and that you are at home. They're monitoring you, they're tracking you, um, you're reporting on a daily basis what you're doing, how you're feeling, um, their temperature checks, you're not deteriorating. Um, there are family members that are aware your phone is on, there's credit on it so they can see you, there's a video. You just have to keep communicating wherever you are so that we can know when um, you need emergency um, health, um, treatment because I understand that people can just, you know, collapse and die from coronavirus. Depends on the health status of the person. What's your advice to government on what more to do to curtail the spread of this virus? Close our borders, please close our borders. It's, um, I know that we have um, issues in the economy, the price of crude oil has gone down and there's so many things that they're actually trying to uh, manage at the moment. But health is wealth, we can't just sit down and allow this thing to consume the um, country. This country, is, we do not necessarily have the best hygiene and sanitation. So we need to ensure that this does not come into the country because it comes into this country. A lot of people, you see men urinating around, they don't wash their hands. You see people buying bolly, buying yam, buying things. They come and they touch it. So people are going to consume this thing. It's going to spread like wildfire if we do not close those borders. Those borders need to be closed. Thank you for asking that the children should go home. Um, thank you that we don't have gatherings of over 50. However, we also need more measures in place because what's going to happen to the marketplace, the supermarkets, there's so many other places that people gather and there are more than 50 and this virus can spread. So please close those borders. We need more than 13 countries because there are also African countries that have closed their borders even before it became this serious. So let's do the same, please. Thank you very much for your time with us on the news. You're welcome.